Hey guys, Rob here with 3D Printscape. So today I'm going to show you how to change the hot end on the QD printers. I'm using my X Plus 3 here as an example, um, but this does apply to pretty much most of the lineup. Uh, there might be some exceptions, uh, but the process is pretty straightforward. Uh, there's just a couple things you have to remove, and then you got to connect the thermistor and the actual heating block uh, back into it. So I'm going to go over all of that. Uh, a couple things I did want to make a note of here. Um, in this example, I'm swapping out the copper hot end with the hardened steel one here. Um, that said, if you do have the separate hot end and you wanted to swap the nozzles on them, make sure that you don't try to change the nozzle with the hot end not connected to the printer or up to temperature. Uh, the reason for that is metal expands uh, when it's heated, as we all know. So when it cools back down, it actually uh, creates a much harder seal around the nozzle threads. And if you try to remove the nozzle when it's cooled down, you can actually break the thread off inside of the hot end and have to pretty much buy a new one at that point. I've seen it happen. Uh, just make sure that you have it up to temperature uh, before trying to change the nozzle. Um, but in this case, this already came with a nozzle on it because it was from the factory, so we're good to go. Also, if you're changing to a different size nozzle, so this is 0.04 millimeter, if you go to like 0.02 or something else, you will have to update those settings in the slicer, uh, so don't forget about that. All right, so let's go ahead and jump over to the install process. If you guys haven't already, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. And if you have any questions about what I'm covering here or would like to see any other videos, uh, go ahead and leave a comment below or join us on Discord. Thanks. All right, so the angle is a little bit weird here. I'm gonna to try to do the best I can from the top working this with the camera below, um, but hopefully you can see everything. The first thing we need to do is uh, get to the hot end itself. Um, so go ahead and pop this up. And actually, before you do that, I do wanna make a comment. You should have your filament removed at this point. If you still have filament in the feed, you're either gonna to have to cut it and let the extruder push it back through when everything heats back up afterwards, or uh, really you should just have it removed now. So go ahead and power it up and um, unload the filament at least enough to get back through the uh, hot end, so up towards the extruder. All right, so let's go ahead and pop this up. So it just slides up and then out. And then you can kind of just lay this down. It's still connected with the cable for the fan. Uh, so just don't put extra pressure on the cable. And then you can see here the hot end has two screws that we're gonna to have to remove here. And then uh, before we do that, on the back, we got to take off the cover and swap out the cables for the hot end. So let's go ahead and just take out these two screws so it's kind of hanging down there that we'll go over to the back and remove the cover and uh, detach the two cables for the thermistor and the heating element. All right, now that we got those two main screws off, there's a screw right here. Uh, so we gotta take this one off as well. All right, and then you can kind of just wiggle this down until it pops out. If you have filament in here, it's a little bit difficult, like I mentioned, uh, but I did it the lazy way. Now once that's out, you gotta take the other screw off for the fan. All right, then just pay attention here to the direction the wires are going. So when we took this out, um, the heating element and thermistor wires are going backwards uh, towards the back of the printer. So we're gonna wanna put the new one in the same way and it will just slide back into place and we'll put the fan on. You can either do the fan before or after. All right, so let's go ahead and go to the back of the printer here so I can show you what we gotta disconnect. All right, this is about as good as I can get here. I move the uh, access forward a little bit and uh, switch to camera angle, but there's four screws, one, two, three, four, that we have to remove first. Once the screws are removed, we're just gonna kind of slide this piece back and it should be able to come right off. And we need to find the cables for the hot end. So if we grab our hot end here, kind of move my hand out of the way. You'll see that we have these two cables, this white one right here. And uh, this larger one here for the actual heating element, which is right here. All 
right. Now once those are removed, we want to go ahead and get our replacement hot end. Uh, so I've got that one right here. We're going to want to plug those cables back in. All right, that first cable was kind of a pain to get in. I uh, just got to angle it right. Don't force it. Take your time. Make sure that you're not uh, trying to break any of the adapters or anything like that. Um, just try to get the right angle and then push it in. And then now we'll get the other piece. Just going to connect it here. Right. And then we want to make sure that the cables are pushed out towards the bottom. Then we're going to put our cover back on. So there's the cover, and then we got the four screws we got to put back in. Alright, once that's all done, let's go ahead and go back to the front of the printer and put everything back together. Alright, so we're back at the front of the printer here. First thing we need to decide to do if we want to put the fan on the um, hot end first, or attach the hot end then put the fan on. I think I'm going to attach the hot end first then put the fan on. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. So just go and grab our hot end, make sure our cables are clean and pushed to the back the same way they would be. And then the, this will kind of just slide up into place. Right. And then we'll put our two screws in there. Right. And then we'll go ahead and put our fan on. So pay attention to the direction. And then it's going to slide all the way up here. And then we'll go to loosely set these and then tighten them. All right, now that that's done, we can go and put our cover back on. Just going to slide into place um, a little bit high. You'll feel the grooves, then you'll push it down. You should hear everything just click into place, and that's that. The entire process should take you, I would say, between five and ten minutes, depending on if you've done it before or not. Uh, there, it's not difficult, just working with the screws a little bit can be a little bit time consuming, but overall I like how it's set up. It's easy to swap everything out. Uh, just remember, like I said, don't try to change the actual nozzle uh, without it being at temperature or you're risking breaking off uh, the threading inside the hot end and ruining it. So just keep that in mind. All right guys, so that covered swapping out the hot end on your QD Tech printer. Like I said, I used my X Plus 3 here as an example, but that will apply to most of the lineup that they have. Uh, overall, the process isn't difficult. I like that everything is separated and nice and clean. Uh, but if you have any questions about what I covered or would like to see any other videos, uh, go ahead and leave a comment below or join us on Discord. Thanks.